Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ken, that's Buff Pro, and this, and this is Big Ed. Last time we left Big Ed, he was getting shot at by the cartel or something like that. It wasn't us. Be. It wasn't, we didn't, we didn't do it. So we're going <laughs> to see if he survived the shootout or not. But before we do, check out this graph. This is a great graph, and it can be better with your help. Please subscribe. Subscribe to Buff Pro also on Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch, and check out the gameplay channel, Toasty Games. I can't. I don't know if I can watch this. I'm watching it. I was just laying on the ground, just sprawled out, playing the sad music already. Did he survive? Well, Ed and Kaori were inside the restaurant. Gunshots were fired outside. 50 minutes later, the local police informed the crew that the incident was over and the area was safe. Who would have thunk? He just said no problem. But we're just, everybody's just relaxed. But no problem. They in the bathroom right now? There's a lot of flies flying around everywhere. Big A must be stinking. <laughs> down and I heard, you know, pop. I heard two gunshots. She was the first person into the bathroom and I held her and we, we closed the door and we just trembled. Their life flashed before their eyes. Is this a moment for Big Ed to cry? I'm, I'm, <laughs> this, I mean, this is, of course, a scary thing. You know, you hear some gunshots and you go run and you go hide. You don't get shot, you know, blasted on or anything. But I'm wondering, I'm wondering how hard Ed tries to like spin this. I mean, <laughs> everything that oh, I saw yeah. when this happened was like, Big Ed got shot at. Big Ed didn't get shot at. Nobody even knew Big Ed was in there, probably. <laughs> 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 I mean, the title of this was probably gonna be like, Big Ed survived or something like that. Um, right, really. But I'm wondering how much he's gonna try to spin it into like this bonding moment between them. Like they survived this thing and maybe he's gonna try oh, to yeah. get her to go back home with him to like for, you know, so she feels safe. Are you okay, mm. Kaori? <laughs> mm. I thought I was gonna die. Dang, it's heavy, Ed. <laughs> you should have worn the fajitas. It's okay, girl. Basically, it was a communication breakdown between two law enforcement offices, and one fired a gun and one bumped a car. So it was a big misunderstanding. It's a not it wasn't the cartel, it was the police out there shooting off. What? <laughs> Hey, dog, you parked too close to my car. Get no. there, get back, get back. <laughs> it was like, you got like, you got the FBI <laughs> showing up to like the, the detective out there. He takes a long drag of a cigarette. This is my scene, Harry. I got jurisdiction here, Tom. Back off. I'll show you jurisdiction. <laughs> Bow. And like start shooting in the air. Everyone on the inside's freaking out and running and crying. And Big Ed's like, aha, my chance. And so it wasn't the cartel. And it wasn't the hit that we allegedly may or may not have hired. Okay, I mean, we didn't hire oh, someone. What a waste. What a waste of money. God dang it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed with you because my city. No, 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 no. No, no listen, that had nothing to do with your city. It was just a. It was, it was a literally the, the, the police. What do you mean, nothing to do with your city? <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking at Coyote, and Coyote has this look of just disappointment. She was in disbelief that this happened. It probably saved the date, to be honest. You think it I saved the think date? It was going very well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gave her some rocks, you know. He gave her some rocks. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Someone was explaining to me like Big Ed's process of manipulation is that uh he love bombs people, gushing with like, oh yeah, you're so great, this that, everything's so good, uh 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 uh, and he like texts them all the time, and like the relationship moves super fast, and it's just like love bombing. Yo, he does. He really does. <laughs> and so I guess Big that bombs too. Yeah, I guess that works on like people that are in like a bad space, like a bad place mentally or whatever. Like it's like, oh, someone loves me and they love me a lot. Oh, this is great, you know. And then uh, there's like a mimicking thing he does too, like especially with Kaori here. Like she's she's religious and spiritual, and so he like goes home and buys this gigantic freaking rock and starts praying to it. And probably took some selfies yeah. and took it to her and then gives her some rights. You know, it starts like adopting things that they like into his own life just because. Uh, uh, and then and then it slowly starts getting more and more and more toxic and more and more insecure. And then it ends well, it's up. it's because he starts becoming his own a little bit. You know, starts showing his own character a little yeah, more. Yeah, becoming some... And everyone's like, oh my God, who is this guy? Gotta be him again. Yeah. Hmm. And, then, and then like when he went out on the date with like the 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 strong independent the old the, the someone his age right she was just like mm, yeah mm -hmm, yeah all right and then <laughs> dipped and then started ghosting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like i don't i don't need all this but i guess that's kind of why him and him and liz are engaged now oh yeah maybe Ooh. i'm just speculating anyway continuing on with the drama here they got shot at Solo pensé en mi hijo. i only thought of my son 
Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, get them hugs in there. Get them. Get them in. Perfume. Oh, um, um, I can't tell you. I'm just kidding. No, it's um, Tom Ford. Um, oh. Absolute. Oh, me gusta. I like a Tom Ford. Is that fancy? Is Tom Ford good I stuff? Know. I got my glasses are Tom Ford. Is that my are my glasses fancy? Ooh. Who's Tom Ford? Is it this dude or this dude? Oh, is that dude? Okay. You know, I can get along okay. with this dude. We got we got a similar hairline. You know, gigantic foreheads. Yeah. Oh, I want to be like Big Ed. Right? I want to be like Big Ed. I need to go buy this ad. Hashtag ad. I feel closer to her. I feel closer to her. She was crying in my arms. I, I didn't expect that. How do you feel? It begins. Yeah, he expected to be the one crying. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's like, that's my move. I can't believe she used it on me. It begins. There we go. They're closer <laughs> now. I want to get to know her better. We had our traumatic experience together. The traumatic experience wasn't the date. It was the cops shooting outside. Oh. Get into the van and go back to my hotel room. Uh -huh, okay. Just relax. Oh. You want to come back to my hotel room so you can calm down. I knew it, dude. I freaking... Mm. Bruh. Oh, my God. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> Why is this picture upside down? You gotta come down? back to my room. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that upside down? The cops, uh, the cops came through and was like, "Turn this whole thing upside down." I don't want to oh see this. Oh my god! It's like, oh yes, we'll go back to my place. Mm -hmm. Get the camera crew taking all their stuff down. Yeah, they got this what whole. What happened was horrifying, and Coyote is very upset. So instead of sending her home, I invited her back to my hotel. <laughs> of course you did. That sounds so sleazy. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sounds so sleazy. Could have took her to her house, you know, to where she'd be comfortable, but <laughs> I got my dog and my mom waiting back home. The ultimate wingman waiting. He didn't bring that dog for nothing. <laughs> oh, I forgot the dog the dog passed away. What? Yeah, like we uh we did we had those two those two videos recorded and uh the one where Ed's like squirting the soap directly in the dog's eyeballs, yeah. They were like the dog passed, Teddy Teddy died. Teddy's gone. Oh, no. I don't remember what the reason was. I think he just had like, just he was old and had a lot of health issues. Poor dog, man. Oh, man. <laughs> straight in the eyeball. Hopefully. Oh, no. Did Ed do that? So the thought did cross my mind that, you know, this might be a little bit too forward, but, but I, don't I care. simply asked her and she agreed to come back. <laughs> the thought crossed my mind, but that didn't stop me. I went for it anyway. And she said, okay, so it's okay. <laughs> she agreed to it. <laughs> The camera crew was down. And to be quite honest, I don't want to be alone right now either. This was our first mm -hmm. date. And by an act of whatever. Big Ed, don't try to blame when you don't want to be alone. You got your mom and your dog. Everybody's there. Your daughter's probably <laughs> there so somewhere. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> you know, he brought his whole fam. Yeah, we already talked about how like sunburnt and hungover he looked on his date. You know, <laughs> his daughter's <laughs> there somewhere. They're all having a vacation right now. There could be a silver lining to this. No one wanted this to happen, but, you know, things happen for a reason. Okay. It must have been. Ed, Ed wanted this to happen. I assure you, Ed had no intention on not asking her to his hotel room. Right, it was probably one of someone with a production crew out there, like had like one of those little poppers or something. Yeah, like a cap gun. Pew pew. Lock, Lock the, door. the door. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want anybody coming in other than the camera crew. Mm, or her leaving. This moment is for wake up, wake up, Cody, wake up, Ed, for maybe. Transformar, transformar. Ah, big Ed, time to go to church. <laughs> time to go to church, bro. Well, you know, Ed's willing to transform, you know? Oh, yeah, he'll transform to whoever you, you need him to be for at least, you know, a few months. Yeah, the Decepticon, <laughs> like, major right here, you know what I mean? Uh, I wonder how many times they've talked about this whole incident. Because, you know, whenever something like this happens, like, I, I had a, back in the old place, the neighbor's house burned down. And, bro, that is any, like... I heard that same story over and over and over and over and nobody said anything new for like three weeks. It was just, right. it just, it burnt. And I was like, I oh, know that's a big event, but I'm just, uh, it's always, <laughs> it's like someone new would come and be like, the house is on fire. I'm like, oh my God, I know. I don't know what happened. Let me go through the whole thing again and again and again. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. I haven't, hmm. Maybe that's weird that I think it's weird. I don't know. Weird. Ephemeral. Yeah, see. Be it's, it's a, the, in an instant. Done. It was very deep. They had a very, very deep conversation about death on their first date. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. That's what happens when you're in the bathroom floor in Mexico. You know what I mean? You just, 
crazy. I, I kind of got the feeling that their opinions of their first date or how they remember their first date are going to be very different. Big Ed's going to be like, I held her in my arms and it was, I was the hero of the movie. And she's over there like, bruh, I almost died going on a date with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then he took it back to his For hotel real. and tried to be smooth. <laughs> Give me this janky water. Everybody knows not to. What's the, the, the stereotype? Don't drink the water in Mexico. And then we're in a bathroom, like thinking we're going to die. Wow. Like, that so extreme. romantic. Boom, boom. You're right. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. Like, com completely different. Completely yeah. different pages right here. <laughs> boom, boom. She's like, yeah, bang, bang, bang. You. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't the guy's bathroom. Uh, I think they were in the boys' bathroom because there was a lot of flies Ooh. flying around that second. That's like someone, mm. someone. <laughs> Big Eddie went there and laid a fresh dump right before that happened. <laughs> she really got to know him. Uh, oh, hey, you know they had to change clothes because, you know, in the Ben's bathroom, you're like waiting in like an inch of like urine. <laughs> you're peeing all over the floor. <laughs> It's like, yeah. oh my God, like, especially like uh, like in stadiums or anywhere where there's a lot of people. It's like you go into the bathroom and someone like someone messed up and peed on the floor a little bit. So the next person comes in there. They don't want to step on the pee, so they step a little further back. Then they dribble a little bit. The pool gets bigger. <laughs> Eventually, you got people just standing in the doorway peeing into the room. <laughs> 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 Which, back in college, that actually happened. At a freaking oh. bar, man. Like, the floor was just, like, covered in, like, pee. Like, I, yeah. they had a drain, but it was, like, stopped up or something. It was just, like, it was just liquid. And people were just, like, going into the doorway and just peeing into the room. And I was, like, <laughs> absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and then I added to yeah, it. It's... So, you know, I had to, I had to join the party. <laughs> had some drinks. I had to go. Yeah, put this on top real quick, you know. <laughs> Garden? You tell me where, and I'll bring. Can I? I can. Can I bring my mom? With Teddy. With Teddy, Teddy my mom. mom. Uh huh. Sabian. Si. You want to meet my mom? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Please bring bring her in here. Yeah. Get. Right. I, maybe I could talk to her. I thought he was about to be like, we haven't had dessert yet. And like lean in. Oh God. Like, <laughs> oh, that no. would have been great. <laughs> oh, I wish that would have happened. But then, mm. how does it work? Okay. Where do I live? How much money am I gonna need? There's a lot of moving parts to love but I hope yeah, yeah i get it there's a lot of things that you're not gonna do ed we, we understand no, this isn't gonna happen this <laughs> this isn't gonna happen at all it's liz you just need it this is like <laughs> you're watching your favorite anime and like that one episode comes up that doesn't affect the main story of the filler yeah this is just big yeah. ed filler right here uh, absolutely <laughs> yeah, i mean it's a good thing that yeah. someone just shot randomly because it was pretty boring until that point <laughs> right i was gonna say i thought the date was going really bad and then yeah. you know yeah then he probably paid some guy out there to <laughs> shoot the captain oh man i saw a uh, uh what was it I, I get all these like lists that pop up on my like uh different social media stuff and one of them was like the most wealthy people to appear on 90 day fiance like what their net worth is like you know it's just guessing nobody actually knows but yeah. uh, just what's known publicly, and Big Ed was like not that high on the list. Uh, and the only reason I'm thinking wow. about it is because he's he said like how much money to bring, and like last time we did this, he kept talking about like his mom wanting his money, and like he he dropped like money hints a couple of times, like these he's doing pretty good. It, it estimated that Big Ed's worth like eight hundred thousand dollars. Oh wow, that's you know better than I thought. You know he's been selling some merch, maybe. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna say Big Ed's doing it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he's got, he got, he's got a little, little guy some money, maybe, hmm. maybe. It's about the same as like them trying to guess like how much a YouTuber makes in a year. You don't know, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Maybe give me a couple of big ads this year. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that Coyote was able to see a side of me that I care about her. Bro, stop trying to spin it. You got shot at. You both ran to the bathroom in a panic, trying to not have anything bad happen to you and it's like oh i held her and i protected her and it's all happened for a reason for yeah love. it's because i got my rocks and prayed to him and then the rock god came down and was like you know what <laughs> i got you big ed yep and big ed was smoking those <laughs> the rocks <laughs> yeah because <laughs> he thinks he's the freaking hero of the yeah, story again man. it's all about big ed baby
having somebody shoot at her was a better way than body slamming her, you know what I'm saying, in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At least uh, <laughs> one of them had a much higher survival rate, and it wasn't the body <laughs> slam, that's for sure. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, man. I've drank too much caffeine. That's my problem. I'm just like blabbing on about nothing. I'm not actually saying any words. I'm saying words, but I don't have a point because I got like that caffeine high right oh, yeah. now. Woo. Mm, that good coffee. <sighs> yeah, it's iced. You know, you get that iced coffee and you just end up drinking the whole thing and then you're like, whoa, there it is. Dude, I drink nothing mm. but cold brew now here lately. It's cold where you are too right now too. Mm -hmm. Two, 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 two. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay toast, my friends. We'll see you next time and I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And if we go through a traumatic event, I'll hold you while you shiver. But if you're not subscribed, then you have to go sit in the men's bathroom. That's floor. right. <laughs> <laughs>